Since I embarked on this journey of kind of developing passive income, I always had the interest in stocks and shares, but never really the understanding. So today I wanted to give you a total beginner's guide as to how you can get started with trading. Please bear in mind that I am in no way giving you any financial advice at all and that any kind of investment does come with risk. So you do need to, if you're investing, you're only investing with capital that you are okay and comfortable for it to depreciate as well as appreciate as well. So the platform that I am currently using, which I think is really great, and I will put a link to below, is Trading212. So whether you're interested in ETFs, individual stocks, dividend stocks, IPOs, or fractional shares, then Trading212 has such a wide selection to choose from that will suit your investment preferences. So Trading212 is a really easy interface to use, but please do remember to conduct your own thorough research and consider your risk tolerance before making any investments. As with any form of trading, it's important to understand that there are risks involved and you need to understand your risk tolerance level. And remember that the past performance of a stocks and shares is not necessarily an indicator for future performance as well. So make sure that you educate yourself, that you stay well informed and consider seeking professional financial advice when you feel that you need it. So on Trading212 as well, you can also invest in crypto. That's not something that I'm currently doing. I feel for me that that is a little bit too high risk. If you were early to the game, yes, you would probably be a millionaire, billionaire by now. But right now, crypto is a lot more up and down, more down to be fair, than up. So for me, my risk tolerance is not there. So Trading212 is available on both Android and iOS as well. So all you have to do is go to your app store, download the app. You simply put in a few simple details. It will verify your identity and then you can start trading. Now, if you use my link in the description, Trading212 will currently give you a free stock worth up to £100. If it's something that you're considering, then definitely be looking into this. So once you've set up your account, it is a really easy platform to use. And it has so many features that are gonna help you on your trading journey. So as you can see, here is the Trading212 app. So you simply just click into the app, you'll put in your details, it'll automatically log you in. Here it's going to give you kind of your hot list. These are ones that, you know, they believe will appreciate. Then you have a watch list here where it's got all the most popular. These are some platforms that I am interested in. As you can see, I'm looking at sort of big companies. You then have a top winners top losers, popular shares, US stocks, so it doesn't matter where you're from, you can invest, you've got your UK stocks, then you have new on trading, and then you have ETFs. Now ETFs are really cool. This is something that I'm investing in. So these are more like the FTSE 100, your S&P 500, you have UK, American as well. And these are more like a collection of companies. So, you know, I think in the UK, the FTSE 100, they are our top 100 biggest businesses. And instead of buying like a whole share in each different one, you're buying a fractional share and you can set that up for whatever you're comfortable in investing, whether it be five pounds, 10 pounds, a hundred pounds, a thousand pounds, it doesn't matter. So it has a really good community feed as well which I really like. So this is where if you're 
if you want to get like the news, the up-to-date stuff, as you can see here, we've got like a day trading section. Um, and it's basically people who are talking about various stocks and shares, giving advice, asking questions. Then just here, you have a section called pies. So these are people that have already worked out what kind of um, dividends or growth and they basically they mark it under one of these sections so you've got like a green pie so someone's created the pie and then you can invest in exactly the same way so whether again you're investing 10 pounds 50 pounds your shares will automatically be di divided up to match theirs and it is these are people that we hope are researching and you can also see you know how many are interested you can ask questions to the person that is on there as well so it's a really a good way again to kind of take that stress off you particularly early on people spend so long educating themselves on stocks and shares and they still get it wrong so if you're just kind of considering getting into this, my advice would be probably to go down the ETF route. You're, you're simply, okay, the reward might not be so huge, but as a general rule, you know, this, the stocks and shares of the S&P 500 has increased year on year, aside from a few financial crises. And what you need to bear in mind as well is we are currently heading into a bit of a financial turmoil. So do bear in mind that you might need access to this money. And with Trading 212, you can withdraw, you can put in as much as you want, whenever you want. Another really cool section just over here is so you also have price alerts that you can set up. You can, if you put cash in there, it's got an ISA that you can use. You can set up some price alerts as well. And if you can just see down here, you have a switch to practice mode just here. So you have um, your trading to want to invest. So this is buying stocks and shares, ETFs with zero commission. So just exactly like the app, or you also have a chance to try your day trading. So day trading is you need to be on it. You need to be watching when things going up, looking like they're going to come down. Some people do really well at this, but you do need to do like such a good study. So I think by practicing in these modes, let me just show you how similar it looks. So here we go. So now we're in the trading 212. So I go back to my home screen. It looks exactly the same. So now, for example, I could click on Tesla and I could buy a share. So let's just say I want to buy 800 pounds of shares, review, send, buy order. And now it's going to track me. From here, if I want to, I can put in alert. So say if it goes down by 5%, it will notify me. And if it goes up by 5%, it will now notify me. And this means that if it's starting to go down too much, I can start to exit. I have to, again, think about my risk tolerance levels as well. So it's a really easy interface to use. And so then you also have your economic calendar. So this is telling you like different trading hours, forecasts. And then if I go back to my real one, just here. So again, as I said, you can set up your price alerts. So you can go create alerts there. So whether you're looking at stocks, ETFs in your watch list, you can do all of these things. I'm really sorry about this bright sun today. So when I first set up and started filming, it was actually raining outside and now the sun's coming in so much. It's a bit English weather. We love to talk about it, but it is a bit of a problem when you're in a conservatory. So there is so much that you can kind of do and think about on the app. So if I wanted to search for a particular brand, a particular company. So let's say a Procter and Gamble. They're pretty huge. So there we go. We can go there. So 
here we go. And then, so I can see the one day trade at the moment, one W is one week, one month. So you can see there over the last month, the stock's grown. Three months, so that means the stock has had a dip. A year and also max. So you can see here, if you invested around this point, you would have made a really good considerable amount of profits. And then if you want more information, you can see here, so you've got income statements, balance sheets, cash flow. They give you all the information that you need. You can also see the history with the stock and share. You have the instrument details as well. So you can go in there, see the annual reports. And that's going to give you breakdowns of like their dividends and things like that. So not every stock and share do pay out dividends. However, lots in the S&P 500 do, FTSE 100. So really take a look what your risk tolerance is with my link down in the description. So in order for that link to work, you need to sign up for your Trading 212 account and you need to verify your identity and then fund your account as well. This can be as little as 10 pounds and then they will give you a stock. So just put in whatever it is you are comfortable with. And yeah, I really hope and wish you success in trading. As you can see, the app is super easy. You can follow along really well. You can start in your practice mode if you would like. Like you don't have to start with your real money. Give it a go, see how it feels. Only invest what you can afford to make a loss on or potentially lose altogether. Stay well informed, research, research, research. Take a look at Trading 212. It's a super easy interface to get yourself going with. And I wish you all the best. If this is the kind of content that you like, I know this is quite a different video for me, then let me know if you'd like me to go into more detail and give you perhaps information about different types of stocks and shares that you can invest in, or if you're interested in other platforms. I can't wait to hear from you. I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much. Bye.